Hey guys, this is Tricky Ricky 77 uh, Rick. I just uh, thought I'd do a little blog because I've been pretty busy lately dealing with some things. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd take a little little break from the uh, you know the whole puppet uh, Johnny Schmuck Milfer you know fiasco thing, and just uh, you know update you guys on um, interesting family situation I've got uh, going on here. Um, that's why I haven't done many videos over the last uh, week, or, week or two, because I've been uh, pretty busy with this family situation. So it's a very positive one. So I decided to do a blog, which I don't normally do, unless there's puppets or evil psychopaths involved. The situation is, um, this summer, the first week in July, uh, my mom and I are planning to go to um, Portland, Oregon, to see my older brother Rob, who I haven't seen since last year. He's been living there since 97 or so, somewhere around there. Um, he got married in 99, and he's been there since then. This is the brother I grew up with, right? Um, and then, you know, he moved out there and to be with a girl and married her, and, you know, the rest is history. So, uh, I'm very excited because I don't travel too much. Um, and uh, my mom and I are officially, it's all official. I got my passport, and for the first time I got a passport. It's pretty cool. Um, tickets are purchased, we got um, insurance while we're there, and so everything's all good, so that's pretty cool. That's in the first week in July. And then recently, if that wasn't cool enough, you know, taking an actual vacation to Oregon to see my bro, um, I watched, uh, some of you may already know this, but I watch Smallville uh, regularly. I'm a pretty big uh, a Smallville fan, so um, the most recent episode, which was last Thursday, so um, not yesterday, but, the, but last Thursday, uh, season 8, episode 18, I believe, and I saw my other brother on there. He actually got a part in the show. He got a part in small, a speaking role in Smallville, that episode. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. I was out, I was just watching it, and you know, like I, like I always do. And I know he's, you know, this other brother I have is a, you know, an actor and a singer and stuff, and out in Vancouver, and they film a lot of Smallville in Vancouver. So. Um, you know, that's probably how this thing happened. But anyways, I'm watching Smallville, and I suddenly see this scene with my other brother in it, right? And um, I just, I'm double-taking, saying, is that Steve? Is that Steve? I'm like, wow, that can't be him. And then, of course, it, you know, there's a close-up of his face when he says his line, right? And uh, then I knew for sure it was him, so it was crazy. So I contacted him. Obviously, I told everybody I knew about it, because that was so cool. I mean, my brother on... Smallville, my favorite show, and he got a speaking role. Like, I was blown, I was so excited, I was blown away. So we contacted, and um, yeah, uh, we talked on the phone for like an hour and a half or so. Um, this was this past Monday night. We talked on the phone for about an hour and a half about everything, and um, he actually says um, he's got nothing going on the first week in July. So, um, and you know, some of you may not know, uh, Portland, Oregon, and Vancouver aren't that far from each other, really. So he's planning on coming out to Oregon while well, my mom and I are there with my other brother, and he's planning on coming out there for a couple of days, perhaps, at least. So, um, and it's official now. So uh, this is a big story because this brother of mine who's on Smallville, um, I've only known about him for a few years since 2006, when my parents finally told me and my other brother Rob about him. They gave him up for adoption back in 1967, and they did not tell us. They kept it a secret from us our whole life until three years ago, when we were told about him, uh, his existence and everything. And then so, you know, I went on the internet, and I did a Google search for his birth name, and I found him on there. And he was part of this agency to find his birth mom, my mom. And then, you know, ultimately I found him, we communicated, we all met up. Um, I think the next year, uh, two summers ago, we all met up, and it was beautiful. It was the best thing. He's such a great guy. He looks like me. He's my height, same shoe size, the same interests. It's just, it's unbelievable. So, you know, it's one of these situations, one of these things that you just, you don't think it's ever going to happen to you. You know, it's something you see on TV, all these, you know, these family, you know, uh, these family kind of stories, you know. It's, so it's, it's pretty interesting. So, but here's the thing. My other, so my brother Rob and my new brother Steve... They haven't met each other yet. They have not met yet in person. Never. So, like I said, Rob and I have only known about Steve for a few years, and they're both pretty busy people, despite not being that far from each other, really. 
you know, Rob's in Portland, Oregon, Steve is in Vancouver, Burnaby to be exact, and that's not really that far, like, it's like I think it's like maybe six hours or something, maybe away, tops, so not very far, they just, they're, they're busy guys, so they never have a chance to meet each other, right, and, you know, there's been some, some, you know, mixed feelings there, like, you know, some hesitancy, you know, Steve was uh, feeling resentment for a while because of the whole situation, my parents gave him up for adoption, because they weren't married, they were poor, and all this back in 67. And back then, you just you just didn't do that. If you weren't married, and you were really poor, and you just don't, you know, have a kid back then. It just, people just really frowned upon something like that. So, you know, they gave him up for adoption, thinking that was the best thing to do. And uh, this is my real birth brother. It was my mom and my dad when they were together. So they gave up Steve. He got adopted and was raised really, really well, really great. He's a great guy now. He's doing really well for himself. And, um, you know, sure enough, then, you know, what's that, what Steve thought, my brother Steve, what he thought was that, you know, after they gave him up, you know, they, maybe they split up or he did not think they would get end up getting married after giving him up and then having two more kids of their own. They had my brother Rob like three years later and then had me six years after that. You know, and then, you know, then they split up after that and, you know, they both remarried and all that. But the point is that, yeah, Steve, you know, felt resentment because he just couldn't see, couldn't see that. You know, he just didn't understand it. You know, how could they give him up, but then get married and have two more kids after him that they ended up keeping? So this whole thing was kept from me and Rob our whole lives until three years ago. So I'm turning 32 next week. And I found out about this when I was... I guess I was 29, 29 when I first found out, and my brother Steve was like, I think he was 39 when he first found out. So this was this was huge. We, like, he was blown away when he found out that they had that he had brothers out there, because he had given up, he had given up, you know, trying to you know find his birth family, you know, his birth mother, and he had no idea that he had brothers. Like he would never think that he had brothers, that my parents would have kids after him, and that caused their resentment issue. So this summer. But the whole point is this summer, first week in July, I will be with both my brothers, my the brother I grew up with, and my new brother who I found a few years ago, um, all at the same time with my mom. So it's going to be a big family get together, one that I've been waiting for ever since I found Steve, um, and I was the one who found him like three years ago. So because Steve and Rob have never met, their blood brothers were all blood brothers, a hundred percent, and Steve and Rob have never met each other. And that is going to happen, uh, it looks like. Well, the plans are pretty much set now. Um, that is going to happen the first week in July when my mom and I go down there. So they're going to meet. I'm going to, you know, spend time and hang out with both my brothers. We're all going to be together for the very first time ever in our lives. And my mom's going to be there. And obviously, she's, you know, very excited about this because, you know, we all understand how much of a big deal this is going to be for her to be there. And I just thought, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you about it, because I think it's pretty cool, and, you know, I don't do blogs very often, but I thought this was a pretty good reason to do a blog, so, because I'm very excited about the situation, and I just thought I'd share it with all of you, so, that's all I gotta say about it, so, um, yeah, obviously I'm gonna take lots of pictures and videos, but, you know, with this whole thing, and it should be really something, so I'm hoping to post some YouTube videos and stuff like that, um, after the visit happens in July, you know, to share it with all of you, because it's really, uh, it really is a touching story, you know, with finding, you know, f I found Steve, like, I guess it was um, the same night my mom told me about it, and uh, obviously I was floored, because I had no idea, obviously I had a, another brother out there, and I found him that same night, that same night I found him on the internet, and then we con we made first contact four days after that, so this was like three years ago, and um, we made contact, and it was just, it was just unbelievable, like, the whole story, and then we met up, he came down here with his family to, you know, to Ontario. Um, the summer, I guess it was the summer of 07. Yeah, two summers ago. And we all met up, but my brother Rob couldn't couldn't come. He was too busy. He was unable to come for this big reunion that we had here. So now this summer, it looks like it's going to happen. You know, my mom and I are going down there. Steve's going to be coming down there, and Rob's going to be there. And we're all going to have a big reunion, and it's just... It's just, it's, it's going to be amazing, and we're all looking forward to it. It's pretty huge. So that's all i got to say. Happy Easter. Get stuffed.